morning, Adventurites. I just want to do a really quick video here for you. Uh, someone in one of my Facebook groups was asking how to create a reflection in a mirror using Photoshop for Second Life. Uh, because of Second Life, you can't add reflections in world, so you have to do the manipulation in Photoshop or GIMP or any other uh, photo program online. I only know how to use Photoshop. I don't know how to use GIMP, so I can't help you with GIMP uh, if you use GIMP. So anyway, as you can see, here is a picture that I created last year. And I have a, a reflection in the mirror. And this was really easy for me to do. What I did was I took two pictures. As you can see, I've already taken two sample pictures in World. I created one from the front, and I created a second one from the back. They're both the same size. And um, the one from the back is just a little bit angled differently. But it doesn't really matter because you'll be using manipulate, uh, warping and stuff in Photoshop in order to get it to be just right. And reflection is not always perfect anyway. Um, so I've leaned myself up against the vanity and I've taken the picture. And now what you want, what I always do is I create make these layers in the background. So this is the background layer. This layer you won't be making much changes to. You'll be just creating new layers on top of this. So this is your original picture. And um, there are a few ways that you can do this, but I'm going to use the magic wand tool right now. I don't know how to use the pen tool in CC 2019. I am still learning 2019. So it's, it's a touch and go there. Um, the easiest way is to use your, your magic wand. And what you want to do is select only the mirror part. Okay? So I just click in here and uh, select all of this. If it won't let you select and add to your selection, make sure that you go to the tool bar, to the menu bar here, and it has this little button that looks like two papers on top of each other uh, ticked off because it is add to selection. This is just make a selection. See how it, it disabled the ants. This is add to selection. So you can add to your selection. If you do too much, you can take and take away from the selection like that by this button here. And then this is intersect some um, and it, it's not working for me. But anyway, the one that I select is the add to selection. And then that way it will select everything that is in here. Don't worry about the lights. You don't need to, uh, for this technique, you don't need to worry about the lights. So now if you notice that I got, I'm going to make this fit the screen. You fit screen. I've got some of my avatar involved here but it doesn't matter because you're making a layer with a copy you're not actually cutting cutting this out so go to layer new layer via copy you can use your shortcut keys it doesn't matter um, I I usually do the long way and so I want to hide the background layer for now and I want to add a mask to this layer with, that I just made a copy of because I want to get rid of this. So now you've created your mask and your mask is selected. Go to your brush tool. Make sure the hardness is zero. I would lower the, I, I would lower the opacity on this one. Just just leave all this at default and then get rid of this just by going dragging it around and so you see how this is like all faded you don't have to really worry about that because you can't really see it in the final picture so now make your background layer visible again 
and go to your second snapshot and see how it's I I made it so it's like distorted I didn't even realize I did that anyway select all and copy you can use your shortcut keys or you can use uh, edit select or sorry select and then all and then edit and copy and then paste and so on I just use my shortcut keys and then I'm all set here so I would just paste it and see how it just pasted it in there we'll go into your layers panel and select right click create clipping mask and look what it did it put the image inside the mirror and now this is where you get to distort this a little bit make it smaller make it you know however you want or whatever makes sense to you and for me it would make sense just to kind of distort it a little bit and then move it so that it's like here and let's do more I want to fill this up in the mirror because I don't really want the mirror showing right now so here we go something like that it doesn't have to be perfect so now go into your layers panel and what I would do is I would create a blending mode and I chose like overlay because it makes it a little bit shinier and then I will sometimes I'll lower the opacity so it's like shiny there but it's not too much and then add a let's see what was the filter oh yeah I added a Gaussian blur to the background image like this so it's kind of blurry but it's not too bad and then what you could do is you can do things like add another mask to the clipping mask layer and then take your brush along the edges here with a lower opacity like this I see how it kind of blends it in just a little bit you can along the edges so it doesn't look so harsh it kind of look it, it's starting to look like it belongs there it's like that so this is basically it I mean you can do all kinds of stuff to your reflection you can just store it using the warp tool or whatever but basics is you take two pictures in world one from the front one from the back with your mirror behind you or whatever however you're doing it and then you pull them into Photoshop and you cut out the mirror part um, this is my technique I cut out the mirror part and then I will create a clipping mask with the the second picture on the mirror cut out and um, then I will play with opacities filters and stuff until I get the reflection the, the way that I want I'll play with the warping until I get the reflection the way that I want and just have a little bit of fun with it and then at the very end when you when you go to apply uh, filters to your whole image create a stamp because that's what that's it just it's better to uh, to do it that way so that you if you make a mistake you don't lose your original layers so I will group them together like this control G and then I will relabel it as original and then from that I will create a stamp so to create a stamp it is control alt shift E and that will create a stamp of everything in the image on top of your original layers and then that's where I create my filters and I adjust things and, and stuff so um, I hope this helps you and you can have fun with this technique uh, this is the way that I do it uh, others might have their own method but um, this was easiest for me so hope this helps have a good day adventure rights bye like you the sun